What's going on fellas? My name's Grizz. We're in Black Ops Cold War Zombies and this is the new Big Window Glitch for Update 1.11. This glitch is great for high rounds and it's easy to get into, so I'll be showing you my research. If it's your first time around here, be sure to subscribe and activate the bell icon for more glitches in this glitch series. We're on our way to Season 2, so subscribe if you want to level up fast in Zombies. And if you can, comment down below what's your current level in Black Ops Cold War Zombies. I'm Prestige 7, level 291. I did just unlock Tier 3 for Tombstone Soda, so I'm excited to try that out a little bit more. But yeah, let me know where you're at down in the comment section below. But to get started, we're going to head from the courtyard into the equipment storage area. We're going to hop on top of this railing and jump into the window. So if you have stamina up, this works a lot better. But once you get to the edge of the railing, you're going to jump and you're going to land on this ledge. And we're just going to creep over to the right because that pulls in the zombies more. You're going to notice that the ledge kind of curves down. You don't quite fall off yet. So once you jump onto this ledge, uh, the next thing is to just creep over to the right until it kind of bows down. And that's going to pull the zombies in nicely for you. There's nothing special to this glitch. You don't need anything to get into it. What I'm going to recommend to you, of course, is Tier 3 weapon of some kind as your primary and your secondary as the Ray K84. The perks I would look at getting first is Quick Revive, Juggernog, and Stamina Up. Those are just the ones I go to all the time right away. Now, once you're in the window, and you're creeping to the right and it's sort of bowing down the ledge is bowing down that you want to milk just to get the zombie to come towards you then you want to get to the highest part of where the ledge curves up because the big zombies the mimics can hit you from below luckily they're really easy to kill so you shouldn't have that big of a problem with the mimics when it comes to the manglers they keep their distance they stay out of this room and are pretty much the last zombies so if you want wait to the very end then go ahead and jump out go kill the manglers and then jump right back into this glitch because this glitch is easier than most glitches to jump into and you have a lot more protection than the other glitches that you're gonna find in this map we may find better ones don't get me wrong but this is definitely one of the better ones for high rounds and don't be like me, don't forget that your field upgrade's charged and your ring of fire is ready to go. Sometimes I forget that I even have it and I take so much damage and this would have totally prevented it. So ring of fire is definitely what I'm going to recommend. It's going to help you plow through these rounds. Just don't forget you have it charged. Now I have unlocked dark ether camo, but my grind is not over for that. I'm still finishing the LMGs, actually almost done with the LMGs, got them all diamond almost. Uh, and then I have pistols and rocket launchers. Those are the two I have to level up, all, both those weapons, uh, weapon classes to level 50. And then once they're to level 50, I'll go into zombies and unlock all the camo. So usually I just go into multiplayer with the weapon, get it ranked up to level 50, and then I'll come back over to zombies. But my LMGs are leveled all the way up to 50 and now I'm just pretty much finishing off the camos for that and working on the pistols and rocket launchers next. So that's where I'm at right now. I gotta unlock that new shotgun, go into multiplayer and unlock it, whatever those challenges are. The zombie challenges I'm about 50% done with, same with the dark ops challenges. Those are gonna come with time as the seasons progress. Well, pretty much the big goal of Season 1 was just to get Dark Aether camo unlocked. And it's really nice to start Firebase Z, this new map, with this camo already unlocked and rocking it on my weapon. So it looks damn good and potentially the best camo in the game right now. You, let me know what you guys think. Uh, for me, Dark Aether camo is definitely the best and uh, DM Ultra just isn't even close. But, you know, maybe Dark Aether Camo's not what you're going for. A lot of you guys might be just saving up Prestige Keys for the Prestige Shop. Right now we can only customize our Prestige Icons and unlock calling cards, but we'll probably be able to do more in the future. I'm just saving up my Prestige Keys right now just in case uh, something gets introduced in Season 2, Season 3. You just never know. 
and some things might cost a lot more prestige keys than others. So I'm just keeping that in mind. We got 20 days left of season one. We got a new map. Pretty much in season two, it's guaranteed that we're gonna be getting another new zombies map. We just don't know when. Could be at the beginning. That'd be kind of crazy if we get two maps back to back right away, but I doubt it, you know. Uh, I think we'll be able to get a map sometime mid season two. I doubt it'll be towards the end of season two. They won't make us wait that long. When it comes to new game modes, it's interesting that Cranked was the first choice that Treyarch had. Jingle Hells was just a remake of D Machine, so it wasn't really a new mode, but Cranked is definitely a new mode. I don't know why Treyarch didn't choose Grief Mode. That's what everybody and their dog is howling about over on Twitter. They want Grief Mode, and I agree. I think we need some player versus player action. Turned, yeah, we, we've talked about that. It's definitely not as good. It's funner in Battle Royale, for sure. I had a good time in Blackout doing their Infected Mode. And over in the Haunting of Verdansk in Warzone, that was pretty ballin'. But Infected... Um, turned not really into it for zombies mode for pvp i'd like to see grief mode return but that's going to bring us to the end of the video fellas i appreciate you watching checking out the content this here is the big window glitch in update 1.11 if you like today's video be sure to subscribe i'd love to have you around and i'll see you in the next one violent out